Hello there, welcome to this beautiful morning. It's another edition of Bow of Glory. It's your friend from the set of prayer and authority. Say, like, I shall pray. Father, we thank you. We bless your name and give you praise as your word is going to go forth. Please, Lord, let the Father, the Father, soul of our heart, and bear good fruit in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Remember, tomorrow Friday, join us at 23 or like that. The Korean Street for our convergence meetings that start by 5 p.m. 23 or like the Adekoya Street, Ijego by 5 p.m. Praise God. Beloved, this morning I want to talk to us briefly on what I know that will bless your life. I want you to turn your Bibles with me to the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 33. The Bible says, Another parable spake he unto them, The kingdom of heaven is like unto living, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal till the whole was living. Praise God. If you read the book of Matthew, you will find that Matthew um, tried to distinctively um, tell us about the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. I don't have the time right now to begin to differentiate the kingdom of God from the kingdom of heaven. But here, Jesus was giving us the parables concerning the kingdom of heaven. So in a nutshell, that you that is heavenly conscious, you that is heavenly minded, that the kingdom of heaven, it's like you read there, that we read there, like a living that is kept in three measure of meal. After a while, the whole was living. I want you to understand this as, uh, you know, when you want to make a, your, your living bread, the one that has the yeast, you know, you are mixing it and then you mix the flour and every other thing then you put the yeast and you mix mix a time comes when the bread the flour you know uh, 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 rises up so jesus was giving the analogy that, that anyone who is heavenly conscious anyone who is heavenly minded yes it the seed will be planted into your heart but there is a time that will come when that which is in your heart we come to the outside. A lot of persons say things that, like, this heavenly race is of the heart, it's not of the outside. That God looks at the heart and doesn't look at the outside. Yes, that's true, but not entirely true. In as much as the seed of heaven is planted inside of you, it's not supposed to just remain there inside. A time will come in your life, in my life, of that what is inside of us, people need to see it. So, being heavenly minded, being heavenly cautious, does not allow us to live our life anyhow. It is that that which is inside of you must be seen of everybody. It must be known of everybody that this one. Mm, is a candidate of heaven. Not just by mere you speaking or telling people. People with their own eyes are supposed to see that this fellow, uh, that fellow, is the one who is minded of the things in heaven. The Bible made us to understand there that the kingdom of heaven is like a living that is hidden. When God planted this heaven consciousness inside of you nobody knew that it is just between you and god but after a while it is supposed to be seen by everybody in the way you do things in the way you talk in the way you act even in the way you dress you can't say that you are heavenly conscious you are heavenly minded and you can't dress properly in the society you can't say that you are the one who is heavenly conscious, heavenly minded, and yet the things that come out from your mouth are lies. You can't say that you are heavenly conscious or heavenly minded and you participate in fraudulent activities. You can't say that you are heavenly minded or heavenly conscious and then you dress seductively. Praise God. Jesus has made it clear that anyone who the seed of heaven is planted in him, though it is planted in the hidden place of his heart, of his being, that is of his inside, but sooner or later, 
people will see to it that this one is a candidate of ego by the way he acts, by the way he does things, and by the things he says. Praise the Lord. So these things of Christianity is of the heart. It's true, but not entirely true. Christ expects that if you say you're a Christian, if you say you're a believer, then it should be seen all around every aspect of your life. You should not be a believer who will lie, who will be fraudulent, who will steal, who will dress promiscuously, who will not um, do things the right way, who will go into bribery, who will take, who will be uh, somebody that is akin watching pornography. Are you listening to me this morning and you have not accepted the Lordship of Jesus for your life? You're going to do so by lifting up your hands and say, Lord Jesus, I come in the multitude of my sin. Have mercy upon me, forgive me my iniquity. Thank you for being my Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus most powerful name. If you've said that prayer, I congratulate you. You are now a member of the Bride of Christ and God has implanted heaven into your heart. And uh, I have a number will come upon the screen, please, to get in touch with us. I want to know you and I'll continue to pray with you. Um, beloved, um, being a Christian is a serious business. And uh, heaven has been planted into our hearts. So we need to live our life with utmost moderation and caution. You cannot continue to live like the world until I see you again to me. Yes,